Hello, welcome to In This Corner. I'm James Smith from the top-ranked gym in Las Vegas. Jesse Vargas, the former super lightweight champion of the world, in final preparation for his bout Saturday night against unbeaten Saddam Ali on HBO from Washington, D.C., in a real crossroads fight. Good to see you, young man. Thank you, Smitty. It's Sa always a pleasure seeing you. Yeah, Saturday night, Saddam Ali, uh, Washington, D.C., a crossroads fight, in a sense, for both of you. We'll get to that, but let's let's get to this. What we're always talking about with you, uh, a new team, a new trainer. Uh, talk about uh, Dewey Cooper and company. Dewey Cooper, exactly. He is my trainer for this fight and uh, from now on. Mm -hmm. you know, I feel very comfortable saying that. Dewey Cooper is a trainer that I feel very comfortable with, that I'm, I'm learning with and Please. and uh, adjusting yes, and, and making some changes, you know, changes that needed to to, to be made. Why do you feel so comfortable with him? Maybe the, uh, I know the story. He's actually been around you for a long time, and you feel quite comfortable because of that. Because of that, you know, the chemistry that we have, I think that everyone could notice it. You know, uh, we just understand each other. We get along. We have mutual respect for one another. He's been on me since I was eight years old, since I started boxing. You know, and not only that, but he was a, a kickboxing world champion and a top boxing uh, professional boxer uh, boxing contender at that time as well i actually you know, called a few of his fights yeah exactly uh you know in the in his heavyweight division and you know he was he was a superstar you know he used to come up and he used to give me black cobra shirts a couple bucks here and there so you know i admired him and it's funny how how you know life just puts you with with uh with people that you met up with already years ago you know and um I mean, we, we trained with the same team at that time, which was Jeff Mayweather, Roger Mayweather. So we come from the same school, and he adjusted and made his own style. And now he's a coach himself for several years. And I really enjoy his teachings. I really enjoy uh, the chemistry that we have and how we are ab able to, to conversate and, and uh, put things together. In a sense, it's a new team, but yet you kind of feel like you're going back home. Yeah. I, I, you said it best, you know, uh, we, we come from the same school, so it feels so familiar. And um, of course, of course, with his changes and small perks that he that he, that he administers. But, you know, we, we understand each other. Well, it's, it's like going back to uh, my old school. I mentioned crossroads fight. You, you only have one, you know, blemish on your career. This kid's unbeaten, Ali. But it's a very important fight, I think, despite the, the fact that your last fight was against uh, uh, Bradley. I think this becomes, with the landscape of the division at a buck forty-seven, this becomes the most important fight of your career. For now, yes, that is correct. You know, every fight, every upcoming fight is the most important fight of your career. And right now, there's a lot at stake. There's there is the welterweight title. You know, the WBO welterweight title at stake. Chance to be a two-time champion. Chance to be a two-time world champion, exactly, Smitty. So we're, you know, we're very happy for the opportunity. Very thankful, and we plan on taking full full advantage over it. You know, this is a fight, uh, if ever, and, and I mentioned this to Dewey uh, uh, before we started, if ever you need to go Mexican, it's on this kid on Saturday night. I think, uh, you know, applying pressure early, often, working the body will be your keys to a, a, a second world title. That is that is an important key and also just being smarter than him. You know, I think that in the ring, ultimately, if you're smarter than your opponent, you will you will be closer to victory than, than he will be. It's all about being the smarter man. It's a chess match. What do you think of him as a fighter? I think he's a good fighter. I think that he earned his his uh, his ranking. Uh, I don't take anything from him, but I think I'm. I know that I'm a better fighter, and I'm going to show that come March 5th, this Saturday night. I think also you feel you're a more battle-tested fighter than he is. Uh, he's he's had a couple of decent opponents, but you face better opposition in bigger fights. A, a, a former world champion. I think you feel like, uh, even though you're the younger guy, you feel like you're the veteran in this fight. You you are exactly correct. I am the. I feel like I'm a veteran at a very young age. You know, I was thrown into in there with the wolves. You know, at a young age, and but that's uh, that's how we came up. We came up the hard way, and thankfully, that's that's what made me the the fighter that I am now. I think that experience is going to play a major factor. I am the smarter fighter. I am the faster fighter. Even though a lot of people think he's fast, he's he's just. I mean, he's agile. You know, he's able to move to box and move around. But he's not faster than me. He's not stronger than me. And I think those are key factors there, besides the experience. Would you say that, uh, in a sense, y you've talked a lot about that 12th round with Bradley. Would you say it's kind of important to, to pick up where you left off at the end of that fight 
when you start round one on Saturday night against Ali? I think that picking up where I left off in the meaning that don't let any minute, any second go to waste. Take advantage over every second of the fight will play a key factor in this fight. You know, that's what I learned from there. And not really going back in there, but I remember that fight like if it was yesterday and that referee came in and stopped the fight, you know. But, hey, you know, it is what it is. Whatever happened, happened. And now we look forward and and uh, now we have a fight for the WBO World, Ch World Championship. And I'm happy to be in that position. Look into that camera and tell the folks what's going to happen on Saturday night against Ali. March 5th, Saturday night, tune in. You will see a new WBO World Champion from Las Vegas. You know, we prepared 100%. We prepared to win. We prepared for victory. And victorious, we will come out this Saturday night. Please tune in, and I hope that you enjoy it. We have, pre we have prepared to perform for you. Always great seeing you, young man, and best of luck on Saturday night. Thank you very much, Smitty. Always a pleasure being on. 